welcome to your root, restorative yoga flow today. We're going to start with a couple of slow, deep breaths in child's pose. So make your way there. Knees wide, toes together, and hips, glutes relaxed and spread apart. All right, in this root class, as you're making your way to your child's pose, I'm going to lead us through how I want you to think about bringing air into the body and out of the body. So restorative root practice, rooting through the body and using the breath as a mechanism to meditate within. So, so let's start together in fingertips spread wide to the top of the mat. A little bit different than you normally would your child's pose wide is gonna open up the pec muscles. The forehead just rests gently on the earth. So start to bring the air in through the nose. Travel with it through the windpipe, down the mid back, and all the way down into the pelvis. As you get down there, you can hold and feel the pressure building. Exhale, relax the glute, the hips, the belly, and bring the air up and out the nose, the same way that you brought it in. Let's try five of those, nice and slow. Fingertips wide, you'll start to feel the shoulders relax. Deeper and deeper each breath. Inhale to fill. Fill, fill, fill. Exhale, relax through the hip flexor now. Set the hips a little closer to the heels. Still relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale to fill. Follow and trace the air in the body. Exhale as we sink a little bit deeper, letting the armpits, the pecs relax closer to the mat. The hips closer to the heels. Just two more, just like that. Inhale a little bit slower and putting a little bit more air into the body now. Nice, slow inhale, fill, fill, fill. Exhale, relax the glutes, relax the hip flexors, sink the armpits a little bit closer. This last one here, nice and slow. I want you to hold the air inside of the body for five full counts when you're all the way full. Feeling the pressure build around the spine, maybe even a little compression in the low belly. Good, as you exhale all the air out. Start to walk the forehead side to side, waking up the third eye. And now start to bring the right fingertips and interlace them with the left. It's okay if your head has to come off the floor. Just work to sit the right hip closer to the right heel. Nice, slow in now, still tracing the breath in. Exhale, sink the hips closer. One more breath here, lengthening your right side body. Good, switch out the sides, fingertips, Walk to the right side of the mat. Left fingertips can interlace around the right. The forehead can touch, that's okay. Some of us, our shoulders might be too tight and that's all right too, so you can keep the head lifted. Just follow the breath in, stretching left side body now. Exhale, sink the left hip closer to the left heel. One more of that nice slow inhale, fill up. Exhale, left hip, left heel. Good, start to walk your hands under your shoulders. Pull the body into a tabletop position. Now, when you normally take a cat cow, it's a little bit faster, but today I want you to open up into your cow pose and hold. Think about here, rooting down through your knees, pulling the energy into the hips. Relaxing the sits bones, pulling the energy up through the palms and through the chest space. Okay, now instead of pushing the chin forward, think about lengthening the top of the head up. You know, feel that gentle compression in the spine, a nice back bend here. Breathing through the open heart, open throat. Good. As you start to come into your cat pose, Exhale to tuck and round. Hold 
holding your cat now press the earth away you should feel a stretch through the back mid back body breathing into the tight spaces in between the ribs feel those intercostals that get stuck in the mid back press 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 away relax the back of the neck now we let it hang Keep the pressure in the palms, pressure in the knees so you get maximum front side round. One more breath here. Good, coming back to a neutral space. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Gently bring your right arm up for a twist. Good, just checking in here now. Extend the right arm up, the hand away from the shoulder. Breathing here. Starting to work now into a gentle twist. Extend the right arm back. Bring the left hand up. Again, rooting now through the front heel, the front ball of the foot, pull the energy up. Stretch the energy apart, two different directions. Crown the head again is reaching up. The breath flowing in and out of the nose. Heart with the hands back down, pull the chest through. Hold here. And then start to slowly straighten that front leg. The toes can come up off the floor. The fingertips, if the flexibility is not there, can come closer to the heel. Good. Slide the right knee back. Take the right arm up again. Thread this right arm under. Keep your hips lifted. Thread the right arm under. Bring the right ear down. You should feel good in the shoulder. And then make sure with the left hand that the hips are square. Pull the left arm up. Flip the palm. And maybe you tuck the left hand fingertips into your right hip crease. Getting that full twist of the spine. Breathing, nice, slow in. Exhaling out. Every time you inhale, just check in. Where is the air going? Where does it get tight? As you exhale, try to relax the pelvic floor, the glutes, the shoulder space a little deeper. Bring the left hand down. The right hand down. One more slow cap down. Not as slow as that first one. Open up for the cow pose, crown of the head lifts. This is your gentle back bend. Feel the energy pull up through the hands, through the knees. Exhale, slowly tuck and round the spine. Press the floor away to create more compression front side. One more inhale. Press the floor away as you exhale. Left foot steps outside of your left hand now. Bring your left hand up for that twist. Once you have the twist, check in with the mechanics. Press into the right hand. Stretch up through the left. Pulling the shoulder up and away. Using the left sole of the foot. Hold the energy up so that you're not collapsing into the left hip. Breathing here, never stopping the breath. Extend the left arm back with the shoulder head stretch. Good, keep reaching as you pull yourself into that twist. Good, check in with the hip flexors here. Now, can you get out and lift up ribs over the hips? Not chest pushing out, ribs over the hips, pressing into the heel. Crowd of the head is lifted. You don't have to look back. You can just keep a neutral spine here. You can even look forward. Depends on how the neck is feeling for you today. Heart with the hands back down. Pull the chest through. Mm, feels good in those sternal platomasters, those SCMs that we're constantly using in the wrong direction every day, right? Be looking down versus keeping that neutral. So come. Now fingertips and straighten that front leg, that half split hamstring stretch. Taking a moment here to check in. Arm 
arms are still active, chest is still lifted, sitting a little deeper. Left knee comes back, left arm reaches up to the sky, taking this twist into this shoulder head now. Hold, hips stay high, remember. Pull the left arm all the way through the left ear down. Should feel nice on the neck. Never forcing those. So if it doesn't feel nice, you can lift your forehead down instead versus your left ear. You decide. Right arm reaches up. Lift the palm. If it's available, tuck into the left hip crease. Breathe into this twist. your next exhale, start to bring the fingertips forward. Slide your chest all the way through here. Bring the toes together, the feet together. Slight bend in the elbows, bring the palms under the shoulders. Slowly start to lift yourself up into a cobra. Good, check in here, draw the shoulders down. Couple shoulder rolls to help you bring the shoulders away from the ears. And bring the elbows down towards the hips. Crown of the head is lifted. Strong cobra tails together. Good, lower down here, bring your left ear to the floor. Bring your palms together behind the back. Maybe bring your palms up so that you get the shoulders to come and relax through the shoulder blade, the scapula, bring the elbows, let them fly down. Right ear on the towel, see how that feels on the neck. One side is going to be tighter, check in there. This is the work, right? I know we want to move sometimes, but this is the work where you can breathe and check in with the muscles that need the stretch, the love. Good. As you start to bring your chin back to center, you're going to slowly extend the hands towards the glutes. If you can press the palms together, fine. If not, that's okay too. You're going to work to open up and bring the arms up, the chest up. Doesn't have to be a lot of depth here, but you want to feel it. You want to feel from the back of the occiput that space right where the skull meets the, the spine, all the way down to the fingers opening. Crown can be lifted or forward to your side. Just an easy back bend on the floor, no gravity. Or lots of gravity here, but not a long way to go in case you feel dizzy. Okay, good. Press your palms down, tuck your toes here, slowly lift your hips to your first down dog. We're going to be here for some, some time, so get settled in. Maybe just a pedal of the heels. And then once you've got the calves and the hips into your legs, start to settle in. You can bend the knees as much as you need to, but you want a long, straight V shape from your tailbone to your heels. Now get strong with the arms. You can even bend the arms a little bit just so that you feel that suction. Patabanda, that palm space is getting strong, pulling the energy up through the palms, and then push away shoulder blades away from the shoulders. That's it. Press, press, press. So you can see that difference, slouching into it or pushing away. That's it. Keep strong here. This is active work. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, keep the arms strong. Sink the heels a little bit deeper. Just doing a little check-in here. What are you feeling first? What fatigues first? And then what takes the brunt? Are you that your arms get strong? Get strong. Use the pad of the fingers. Relax the back of the neck. Take the tension out there. 
Can you use your abdominals here? Are they hanging out, or can you pull them in, zip them in like you're zipping up a tight pair of pants from the pubic bone to the belly button? Nice and strong, keep the arms pressing away. Keep the hips up, sink the heels down. You're lengthening the back side of the body. You should feel your glutes start to lengthen. The back should be on fire here, the core is still tight. Two more breaths. Good, come high into your toes. Look over towards your hands, tiptoe, all the way to the top of your mat. Give yourself a forward fold. Good, we're gonna add a little twist here. So bring the left hand to the floor, bend your left knee, nice hamstring stretch. Extend the right arm up to the side, just like when we were on the floor, but now you're extending the arms away from one another. You should feel that beautiful stretch in the right glute, in the right hamstring. If you want that bind, flip the palm, hook it into the left hip crease for different shoulder work on the right side. Good, from here, flip, replace the right palm on the left, bend it to your right knee, check in. Diagnostic practice, what side is tired? What side is giving you the shakes? Right? A little uncomfortable maybe, but in a good way. Just finding that length here. Flip the palm if you would like, take the bind. Breathing in and out of your nose. Twisting a little bit deeper with each breath. Good, as you straighten both legs, give yourself a halfway lift. Walk yourself to your shins. Shift the weight forward into the big toe, let the crown of the head flatten the back. But the work here is to relax the glutes. I like to actually pull the glute cheeks apart so that you can feel them lengthen. Crown of the head lengthening all the way forward. Weights in the toes, you should feel the legs working here. Give yourself a gentle forward fold. Use the soles of the feet to inhale, reach all the way up. Palms to heart center, I want you to close your eyes here for a moment and feel the root from the feet through the crown of the head. But get strong and steady here. Imagine there is a line of energy that you're pulling up through the arch of your foot. If you feel the arch of the foot, bring it all the way up to the groin. You should feel the inner thighs start to fire up. Good, now take that a little bit further. Press your heels away from one another. Feel the glutes fire up. Shift the weight fall uh, backwards just a little bit. Good, now the lower transverse abdominals have to fire up, yeah? You're not contracting anything. You're just feeling these muscles fire by bringing awareness to them. This is your proper posture. Chin tucked ever so slightly, crown of the head is lifted, eyes still closed, but you can feel these muscles fire. Inhale to fill, push down the air into the pelvic floor. Exhale, bring it all the way up and out. Good, flutter the eyes open, inhale your arms, reach up. Exhale, slow, lead with your elbows, forward fold. Give yourself a halfway lift again, a long spine, feel the glute stretch. Exhale, place the fingertips down, step the left foot way back. Find the long pyramid here. Long pyramid, the back left heel off the floor, the hips square, chest forward. You want your stomach on your thigh. You should feel that beautiful stretch in the right hip. Rooting to the floor. Shift the weight forward into a high lunge, reach the arms up. Good, again, check in. Scissor the legs together, get strong through the inner thighs, rotate pinky fingers up, crown of the head up. Instead of popping the ribs, bring the ribs right over the hips. Check in, is that back knee bent? If it is, that's okay, but can you fire up the glutes, stretch it all the way down to the heel, lengthen the front side of that left hip. So a little lower in the front leg. 
find that gentle twist now, right arm reaches back, extend, left arm reaches forward. You can gently switch the gaze if it feels okay. You can always place your hand on your thigh, a little bit extra balance. Arms reach up, find warrior two. Back foot spins down, two heels in one line, stretch the arms apart, look past the middle, right finger. Sit lower, breathe here, inhale to fill, just like we did when we started. Exhale, get strong, squeeze the glutes towards the long side of your mat, keep stretching through the fingertips. Check in, what's this front leg doing? Pull the energy up into the inner thigh, into the groin area, Squeeze the right glute down and under. Get strong through the legs. You can stay here forever if you needed to. Flip the front palm. Extend it forward. Reach it up, reach it back. Find that right side body without coming out of the right thigh. Gently straighten this front leg. Reach the arms up. Stretch the arms forward, finding Trikonasana. Fingertips can rest at the shin bone. They can rest on the floor. Try to keep the hips lifting up, ribs lifting up. Breathe. Again, find the soles of the feet. Pulling up through the arches, zipping up the inner thighs. Using that low third of, from the belly button to the pubic bone, really to hold you in place. The core is at the center of your movement. Bring the left hand down. Bring the right arm up. You can organize this back foot at 45 degree angle if you need to, to feel that deeper stretch in the right foot. Good, bring your hands to frame the front foot. Place the palms down. Step your right foot back, high plank. Get strong now. This is the plank that is going to hold you in all of your postures. This is the foundation. Strength, put a brace onto the belly, nice and strong. Like you're zipping up your corset. I like to come high on my toes so that my legs fire up. My core, my arms. Good, now bring the knees down. Keep the arms strong. Come into that gentle baby cobra. Stretch shoulder blades, elbows down. Breathe here. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, find your downward facing dog. Not as long as this next one. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, fill. Exhale, sink. Check in back with the arms, press the palms strong into the earth, sink the heels down, remember the knees, it's okay to have them bent, but you want that strong V. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, gently make your way to the top of your mat. One more of those gentle twists now. Place the right hand down, bend the right knee, lift the left hand up. Taking the bind if you would like. Flip the palm. Open. Switch it out. Replace your left hand with the right. Bend the left knee and right down. Taking the bind if you'd like. Flip the palm. Still lengthening out of both of the shoulders. This time, fingertips down, step the right foot way back. Find that long pyramid. Back right heels off the floor, chest through, and shorten your stance if you need to. And find that stretch in the left hip now. Stomach to thighs, hips are nice and square here. Pulling up energy from the earth. Bend into your front leg. Reach the arms up for your high lunge. Check back. 
back in now again. Remember that different side's gonna tell you different things. Chin tucked, crown of the head lifted, ribs over the hips, glute down to the right heel. Get strong and stable through this front leg. If you need a little bit more, you can shift the foot forward and set lower, pulling out the energy from the instep again, all the way up and through the groin. Breathe here. Let's work that strong balance now. Stretch the right arm back. Stretch the right arm forward. Left arm back, right arm forward. Take the gaze back with you if you like. Right hand on the right, the left thigh, if you need to, to lift out. A little bit more stable balance that way. Breathe in here. back to the high lunge. Open up to warrior two. Two heels in one line, stretch the arms apart. Sit strong through that left thigh. Crown of the head is lifted. Just check in here, how are the glutes supporting you? Squeeze the glute down to the heel. Tuck the left glute under towards the long side of the mat. Strong and steady. Slow breaths. Lift the front palm. First, stretch it forward. Stay in this front lunge. Reach up, reach back. Peaceful warrior. Left side body stretch. Coming back to that T. Stretch. Straighten. Come into tri triangle. Trikonasana. Fingertips on the shin or down at the floor. Two shoulders stretching apart. Lift out of the hips, bring the left rib cage forward. Remember that spot, the anchor of this posture. Three inches below belly button, pubic bone to belly button, zip up. Arches of the foot pulling up to the groins. Get strong here in your triangle. Gently bring that right hand down. You can pivot the back foot in a little bit. 45, left hand reaches up. I like to keep the hips square here. Feel that deeper stretch in the left hip. Pulling up through the insets. Get strong in your revolved triangle. Bring your gaze down to your left foot. Square the hips, step the left foot to meet the right. Back to that high plank pose. Get strong here. You can slide your right knee down. Lift the left arm up for your gate pose. Bring the left arm forward, left side body stretching. Good, and the challenge here, remember you still have two strong spaces on the floor. You've got your right palm and your left sole of the foot, so see if you can't pull that right knee up. This is your core work. Breathe here. Right oblique's working for you. You can always set the knee down when you need that, and then you bring it back up. Keep stretching. Good. Back to that three. Three-legged tabletop. Bring the left heel back. Stretch the right arm forward. Slide the right palm back. We've been doing this all class, opening up that shoulder head. Bend the left heel in. Now you might not get the heel today. Maybe you just get the toe. Maybe you get the ankle. You decide. You're going to stretch that front left thigh. If this is okay, you can kick in to the hand and lift up the toes. Heart opener, throat opener if you want it. Crown of the head up, chin up a little bit. Release. Left side, let's go. Strong work here. Find the gate pose. Find the sole of the foot, the instep. Stretch it up and over. Should feel great right here. And remember, you can see right here. This is your abdominal challenge. 
You're going to bring that left knee up off the floor. Use the core. Reach up and stretch up and breathe. Coming to the end here. So you want to work for those core, those little, little muscles, intercostals, the serratus. Keep reaching. Re-engage the arch of that right foot. Re-engage the palm, the pad. Two more breaths. You got this. Bring the hands down. Shoot the right foot back. Left arm forward. Flip the palm. Reach it back. <laughs> Brought some heat into the body that one, didn't it? Good. And if you can get the foot great. If not, that's okay. You just reach for it. You're still getting that back bend. Just adjust if the front wrist is under the shoulder. And then when you've got the foot, you can kick into the hand. If you want more back bend, more throat opener, you can kick up and look up. Chin up. Balance chest here. So good. Bring your hands forward. Keep your hips high. We're going to come into puppy. Slide the hands forward. Arm hips down. Now, this is more advanced to keep the chin forward so you can tuck the chin and bring the forehead down. If you have a lot of flexibility in the shoulders, then you're welcome to bring your chin forward. You're welcome to take the next step and bring the baby fingers forward. Stay here. Five strong breaths. Feeling in through nose. And out through the nose. Gonna seal it with two more hip opening and twisting postures now that you've taken your back bend. So we're gonna come into half frog. Bring this left knee up alongside the body. Make sure that your leg is at a 90 degree angle here. You want the hip and the knee in alignment, and then the, the knee, the heel right under the knee. And you can scoot your body back if it feels okay. Open up a little bit deeper. Arms can come forward or they can come out. And you're just sitting here, relaxing. Try to keep the hips where you can always adjust. You bring the right ear down or the left ear down to the mat or the towel, depending on what you need more stretch. Now slide your right hip all the way underneath you. Keep this left leg here and come into a gentle supine twist. We're going to work on cat pulling tail from here. So you're going to, in your left hand, pick up the top of the right foot. Feel that top quad stretch and then just stay right here. Try to bring the left shoulder down. If you want more stretch in this left leg, you can grab onto and straighten that front leg. Just breathing. Slow, deep, controlled breaths. Good. From here, hook the left knee over the right. Bring the, the back to the floor, pull the knees into the chest. Now the knees might not be enough for you, so you can grab the outsides of the feet and pull them in. Just be careful of the knees here. It's all about the hips, not necessarily about the knees. So if you feel the knees, you just back off. Still the breath is with you. Very nice. Now let's do the other side. The right leg comes all the way up on your belly for that half frog. Just finding that space where you can be and relax. Now, for most of us, this half frog is pretty intense. So go ahead and get into it. 
But if you need full frog, you can always, let me just show you what it looks like. You can always try the full frog too. I just like to roll up my mat a little bit. You can bring your knees in line with your hips, heels right below your knees, and then you come and lower down. That's your bullfrog. For most of us, this is pretty intense. So you do you. You decide what makes sense for your body today. Opening up front side of the hips. Breathe. Stay right where you are in your half frog or your full frog. I'm going to meet you there so that we can work into that next space. Slide your left hip underneath you. Bring your body back facing up in supine twist. Right knee. That gentle twist. Now working into the cat pulling. Grab with your right hand your left foot. Stretching the thigh. Bringing the right shoulder the best you can back to the earth. Beautiful twist here, this one. Now, if you wanted to, you can stretch and extend that right heel away from you. If it's too much, don't worry about it. This is all about the twist. Slide the right knee on top of the left. Bring it back. Back to the floor, 100% pull the knees in. You can always grab outsides of the feet. Bring your legs into a waterfall position. Flex your feet back ever so slightly and shake the legs out. Heels clip down to the glutes and come to a seated position. Finish, finishing your practice, I'm going to give you the challenge. If you have the time, I hope you do, of just taking 10 breaths. I'm going to take two with you, and then you can lead yourself through the rest. Bring your palms to heart center. In a crisscross applesauce type of fashion with the legs, or however you feel that you can sit comfortably. Shoulders relaxed, back of the neck relaxed, eyes closed, follow the air in through the nose, and fill up the lower part of the abdominals. The space that we've been talking about this whole class, where the pubic bone and the belly button, they meet in the center. Fill that space up. Exhale, relax everything up and out. Breath coming out the nose the same way. And exhale in, come to fill. Follow and trace the air. Exhale, trace the air out. 